What's going on guys? Jesse Rush from Flinga Bows. Here to talk to you about um, a question that I had and I know a lot of other people have and there's not many videos on um, YouTube about it. It's uh, mahogany and can you make bows out of it? Well, you can but they have to be backed with something and I'll explain to you why here just in a second. Come on buddy, come outside with daddy. Grab your drink. Alright, so... Yesterday, I spent the greater part of the day working on a mahogany stave. This is a piece of mahogany. Yes, it looks great. Hold on. Clovis, back in the house. Let's go. Inside. One, two. Yeah, that's right. I'm counting it, my dog. In the house. Sorry, he's a hunting dog. He kills things. Anyway, so here's some mahogany chips. As you can see, I worked very 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 hard all day long and here is the upset ending product this is mahogany and as soon as I started to tiller it you can see this was the handle had some nice reflex already built into it I was going to use that one growth ring across the back draw knifing it up my homemade draw knife that I made guys out of a file freaking thing works awesome um, yeah it was looking great I had it here on my uh, shaving horse I'm draw knifing it away I got it down to a really nice area it was not by any means tillered I started doing some floor tillering kapow it explodes now I've built probably 30 bows I've never used mahogany, always wanted to. It's a hardwood that grows here around me in Florida. I uh, needed to try out my draw knife that I made because I've got a couple of U-staves on their way as we speak. Mahogany is a beautiful wood. Gorgeous. I mean, those little knots, it had a couple of red knots in it that I ended up uh, draw knifing out of the wood, but God, they were, it was beautiful wood. Um, it'd be great for furniture, or uh, they do good for guitars. They make guitars out of mahogany. Here's the limbs. Now, granted, it was going to be a short bow. I'm not arguing that. Okay, as you can see, that was one limb. Here was the other limb. It wasn't going to be very long. But as soon as I started tillering, the thing just snapped. I mean, here I'll show you. I mean, it'll snap right now, I'm sure of it. Put a little pressure. See that? Very brittle. Very brittle. So, my guess would be mahogany's not worth it. Because that's a lot of work right there. Wasted time. Tons and tons of work for nothing. So if you ask me if you can use mahogany and you live in Florida, I would say don't waste your time. I would go for something more along this lines. So this is a live oak stave that I've got drying out right now. Um, also, you should paint the entire back of the stave. As you can see, these checks, these cracking that's happening. Um, right there's another one, here's another one, there's another one, there's a big long crack right there, there's a nice crack at the end of the stave here. So this, the checking in this may have gotten so bad that it can't be worked. But, um, live oak is good, you just need to paint it evidently. Um, but we'll see, cracking may only be a little bit. It might not be that deep, and if that's the case, I can uh, definitely uh, definitely use it. Um, but yeah, mahogany is no good. It's brittle. I wouldn't even waste your time on it. This is jacaranda. I'm just showing you some really weird Florida woods that I've found to work really well. This is a jacaranda bow that I'm making. And uh, just starting to bend. And uh, 
I backed it with bamboo um, strips. I just split a bamboo tree and then uh, put it on here, you know, and then filed it down flat. But anyway, jacaranda seems to be a, a local tree that's very much so in abundance. Um, I can show you what a jacaranda tree is. I have a baby in the backyard. They grow to be these huge trees and they look like they're straight out of Africa or something. Um, let me show you a jacaranda tree. Right back here behind the uh, this is a jacaranda tree. But definitely Mahogany is not a good wood. Alright guys, let me give you a better look at the jacaranda. I just realized my dog got loose, but this is the leaves of a jacaranda tree. Okay, they get red flowers in the, in the spring, I believe. Alright guys, take it easy.